pressurized buffer tanks are a very, very nice solution that can be used in quite a few places and in our experience almost everywhere where you do use them they end up simplifying things a lot. Um, this is a tiny example but uh, we do offer them, this is a 25 litre, we offer them up to 500 litre tanks. Basically the concept is you have a, a tank which can handle quite a lot of pressure and then attached in, inside is a rubber bag basically which gets uh, pressurized with air and when the tank is empty as in this case it literally fills the whole whole tank the, the air bladder now what happens then is you force water in here at pressure the pressure of the water then compresses the air and the, the pressure builds up until the air and the water have equalized and then basically when you draw water the, the, the air pressure pushes the water water back out um, assuming your supplies pressures drop like for example when you open a tap now in terms of a backup water supply say on a municipal system this is a very nice and simple solution because what you can literally do is um, place a non-return valve on your incoming line then place a, a T-piece into one of these um, pressurized tanks and what would then happen is you'd fill the tank say if you have a 500 litre you'd have quite a nice bit of, bit of water stored there and if the municipal supply cuts off the pressure will drop out on the incoming line that the non-return valve will prevent the water from this tank flowing back and then if you draw water in the house you'd simply draw from this pressurized buffer tank. Um, it's a very nice simple solution it, if, you could, if you have frequent relatively short water disruptions it, they work great um, something to keep in mind is the, the tanks are quite expensive and you simply don't have the capacity which you do with something like a Jojo tank big advantage though is you don't need a pump you don't need a lot of plumbing it's a fairly easy thing to install okay so that's as a backup tank where you would also use this is say if you have a Jojo tank in place and um, you don't want a pump to be turning on and off constantly feeding the house. It's typically um, a lot of the pumps, especially the lower cost ones, you draw the most current in that initial startup phase. So if you have something drawing a little bit of water in the house, the pump needs to start up to provide the pressure for it. The, if you add something like this in, in place, you can set a pressure switch to allow a big pressure drop. Say, set a pump to supply 5 bar pressure and only turn on again when the water pressure is dropped to 2 bar. Then you can draw from a tank like this um, to, to cover the space in between. So if, if you have a 500 litre tank, for example, you'll get quite a bit of water coming out um, in that free bar pressure drop before the pump actually needs to turn on again and um, pressurise the tank. So it saves, in that case, a lot of electricity and it also adds the convenience of um, not having to wait for the pump to start up. A lot of these systems, you open the tap, get a little squirt of water, wait a second and then the pump would kick in and then you'd get the water feed um, coming back in. A tank like this would, avoid, would completely remove that whole issue and um, the nice thing is, of course, the added advantage of saving electricity. And that's basically pressurised buffer tanks.